Are you thinking about putting your home on the market for sale and you wanna make sure you don't make any costly mistakes? Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into The Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about six costly mistakes that home sellers make. Let's start with number one, setting an unrealistic price. What I mean by that is sometimes we have home sellers request this from us and you know what? We see it out there on the market happening sometimes to price their home high, higher than market value, current market value calls for because they say, you know what? We're not in a hurry. So we can wait for the right buyer that's willing to pay our price. I suppose in theory that would make sense when you just think about those details alone. But here's what really happens. If you price your home too high above the market value, because you're waiting, the longer a home sits on the market, it starts getting a stigma to it of, why has this home been on the market so long? What's wrong with it? So buyers tend to go homes that sit longer on the home they want to start lowballing or they might not even look at it because it doesn't seem like a good deal compared to other homes that are priced right in the neighborhood so please don't make the mistake of number one number two failing to address needed repairs okay so let's say that you want to put your home on the market but Maybe you've got some wood rot. Maybe you've got like a simple leak happening in the kitchen. This one's easy, right? It's a simple leak happening in the kitchen sink or maybe the shower just drip, 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 drip. And buyers who aren't educated, they're first time home buyers, never owned a home, don't understand it's a simple repair, but they start thinking, oh my gosh, this could be something huge. Making a simple repair can save you a ton of money later on because the buyer will start discounting what they want to offer you. But then when you look at it at bigger items, like I mentioned with wood rot, maybe termites, that's even bigger magnifying glass from a buyer's look at it going, ooh, we're gonna either skip this home or we're gonna price reduce it big time when we write our offer. So talk to your realtor about what you find on your home, make the necessary repairs, or at least the repairs your realtor recommends, if possible, to make your home as move-in ready as you can. Number three, neglecting to stage your home. Now though, I don't mean you necessarily have to bring in a home stager if you're living in the home and put all brand new stuff in. Most of the time your items work. So it's about setting your home up for the buyers to walk through and be able to picture themselves there. Ask your realtor for advice. I promise you they'll be able to help give you the proper guidance because you want your buyers to not see your family there. You want the prospective buyers to see their families living in your home. All right. Number four, evaluating offers on price alone. Why is that a costly mistake? Well, because if you don't look at the other terms and you just accept the highest offer, there might be some unfavorable terms in there such as we also want all of your bedroom furniture or we wanna move in in 10 days, which only gives you 10 days to pack and move. Make sure you're checking out all of the details of the offer. Number five, acting on emotion instead of reason. Mm, this one is a tough one, especially if as a seller, you've lived in it for many years, the touches you made on the home are touches that you have done because you love that color or you love that upgrade finish or you've raised your kids or you've grown up there. So there's that emotional connection to it. Now, when the buyers are coming in, they're not thinking about your past and your history as much as I hate to say it, they don't really care. What they're looking for is, will it work for their family? And what can they do to make touches for themselves? So whatever you do, please do your best to not make a decision based on emotions, but work on actual details and work that through with your agent. If you've got a great realtor, they can help coach you through all of that. And then that takes me to number six, not hiring an agent or a realtor. Because we have the experience of going through of a lot of homes that we've worked on and we've sold. So we can coach you through the process to make sure you don't make any of the past five mistakes, but also help make sure that you have all of the proper legal disclosures 
paperwork, and negotiation terms on your side that we can help with. So if you're thinking about selling your home, give us a call at the number below so we can connect with you today. We'd be honored to help. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a new video coming out for you every Friday.